Well, it was, you know, a mixture in the sense that the first half has been extremely uh, hit by the COVID, uh, starting from China and then expanding to the rest of the world in, in a few months. And the second half of the um, year has been much more encouraging in the sense that we've seen recovery already during the summer. Uh, to end of the year of the last quarter uh, at par with uh, 2019. So this shows uh, uh, that the appetite uh, for true authentic uh, craftsmanship, luxury, exclusivity remains intact, uh, I would say, and that uh, probably after all the restrictions the clients uh, have suffered across the world uh, with lockdowns, uh, with lack of entertainment, of holidays, uh, consumers right now uh, are really willing to resume a normal life and, and to spend the money. Also because uh, with the restriction, liquidities have piled up in the banks. If you talk with bankers, I mean, uh, they are record high. And therefore, people have really money to spend are, and are really willing to, to spend the money now. What's 2021 looking like and where is uh, demand coming from? Is it coming from China? Are we really seeing China drive you into 2021 and into the recovery out of 2020? Well, Chinese, generally speaking, since the global financial crisis have been the major engine of, of luxury. Uh, and with the COVID, uh, it has not changed at all, except that uh, they massively now acquire and buy in China also because very simply they do not travel, they can't travel right now in those days, uh, and, and much less abroad. And if I look at the full 2021, I think the first semester uh, will be uh, again very much driven on the one hand by Chinese buying at home, we're going to see that during the Chinese New Year, but on the other hand, and very positively, it was already the case last year, uh, European buying in Europe, American buying in, in the US, uh, with a year which will uh, obviously uh, beat uh, by far 2020. Uh, the first quarter surely still challenging because the COVID third wave, the famous uh, British uh, variant, uh, is eating right now uh, European economies and also the, the US. Uh, surely a much better second quarter, and I think from the third onward, we should be. Uh, back to 2019 levels. So at the end of the year, uh, the best companies probably will be at 2019 levels and companies uh, perhaps more relying historically on travel retail uh, should be a bit below. But generally speaking, it should be a good year uh, for luxury. Uh, with that first quarter, obviously, uh, somehow uh, shaky because of the COVID uh, and the restriction which we see right now in Europe.